Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I got a box from Influencer. It is a uh, Revlon, Revlon box from Influencer. So um, this is just the, like where you do the surveys. I think that's what they're called. And then you um, review it for them. And yeah. So, it's been a minute since I got one, but decided let's, I need to do a video, so why not, oof, do a video and see what we got in here. See if I can open it. Okay, so, open. This was on top. Catch all nail clippers. And... <laughs> Frost and glow highlights. Oh great. Okay, so catch all nail clippers. Let's see. Catch all nail clipper built in catcher. Oh I see it. It's down in there. I don't have nails, but I will definitely have Chris try these out. And then they oh my, they sent me. What shade what color is this? Oh, it comes with a cap. Does it come with a cap? Oh, it comes with a cap! I don't know how to do this, but we're totally doing it. For real? Yeah. For real? There's a cap. Right there. And the hook. I don't know how to do this. I'm excited. So, I dyed my hair. Um, what did I dye it? It was... Like an all uh, no, it wasn't burgundy. That's what color it was. I dyed it burgundy a couple months ago, and now it's like this really you can't probably can't see it in the camera, but it's like this really weird orangey red color. <gasps> Y'all, I need to figure out how to do this, so bear with me, and I will be back because I'm gonna do this. Best results on light brown to dark brown hair bases, not recommended. For use on relaxed, heavily highlighted, chemically treated, or damaged hair. Really? Does it tell you? Okay. Now, this is something I'm excited for. I tell you guys. I look like a hot mess. I was out. Oof. With the kids. Because they were fighting in the pool. And. Okay, so this is what comes in it little mixing dish your cap the shampooing violet thingy oh my God. I'm so excited anti brass conditioner the highlighting powder and the developer so I'm gonna read how to do this and I will be right back okay cap is on looking like a hot mess over here you just take the hook, and I'm, my mirror's down here, so I'm just going to go in the holes. Like, oh, so, and come on here. I haven't had my hair done like this in a really, really long time so but basically I'll fix that when I brush it yep you just grab and pull and all of the um, sections that have the targets is basically what I am pulling, this is going to take forever, but if I'm being honest here, I appreciate them doing this and sending me this box because 
after dyeing my hair the burgundy, this just looked rough. So I'm going to continue doing this and I will check back in here in a few. I got to figure out how to do the back of my head if Chris isn't done when I get here. So I'll be back. So basically all I'm doing here is just pulling my hair through a cap as carefully as possible, trying to get into all of the little bullseye zones on the cap. It was hotter than hot in the bedroom and it probably took about an hour or so for me to completely uh, pull my hair through the cap. I did have to have Chris come in and do the middle section towards the back. It was a hot mess. Okay, and then still pulling, still pulling, quickly mixed together, and then doused my hair, got a cap, put it on, let it sit. Okay, so it's the next day. I finished my hair late last night. It was a hot mess, not even gonna lie. Chris had to rip the uh, cap out of my head. My hair got really tangled. Here's how it turned out, which, I don't know, you can't really tell my janky ass hairline. I'm not mad at it. I do kind of like the color that it turned into, even though it wasn't blonde like um, the box said it was going to be or whatever. Would I do this again? Absolutely not. Uh, my hair is too thick. There's too much of it. And I would definitely need to have it... Um, thinned out prior to use. It was easy. I was able to do, um, the cap was in three sections. So like this side, the middle and this side, I was able to do this side by myself with the mirror towards the back. I was able to do most of the top. Chris did have to help. And then I was able to do my right side by myself. Um, as for those catch all nail clippers, I don't see anything spectacular with them. Um, I actually had my son try them out and I figured it was going to happen. As soon as he clipped, the nail flung off, like flung out of the, you know, the last clip, it flung away. Would I spend the extra, I wonder how much they are, if I can pull it up real quick. Would I spend the extra money and get those? Hold on. Revlon nail catch. Ew, what do you got? No. Would I spend five dollars on those nail clippers? Absolutely not. Why? Because it does the same thing. It doesn't catch the nail. The nail flung out of the thing like I was knew it was gonna do anyways. So the nail clippers are a no for me. Um and the cap, if my hair was I mean, I have a lot of hair and it took probably a good 10 minutes to get the cap out of my hair and then um like I said I just jumped in the shower anyways and I had to it was really dry and it was like really tangled so I had to use a lot of conditioner and it took a good hour if not maybe a little longer for me to actually brush out my hair because I had wrapped it up in those I think it's called like a the hair towel turban things where you know you put it and wrap your hair up and it has a little loop up front so i did do that for a little bit because i put um oh i use like a curl butter thing i put that in my hair to try to um loosen the curls up but yeah so the cap not on thick 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 lots of hair i wouldn't do it my hair needs to be thinned out the catch-all nail clippers not gonna spend five dollars on nail clippers when it didn't catch anything and the nail flung out. So hopefully you found some of the stuff informational and I will see you guys in my next video.